feel it? Have we gotten to that point where, where we are of singular vision? Have we gotten to that point where we are all seeing the same things? Praise God. So we have to open up our mm -hmm. eyes, the inner eyes, to see it. Pastor says, Pastor always says that it, it, can, it cannot be received or, unless it's been revealed. Have you seen it? So we're going to be training our focus right now on what we have seen. What are the words that Pastor have been, have been releasing to us throughout these five days? <laughs> have we seen them? Now, when we see it, we have to proclaim it. Praise God. Jesus said, Jesus said that um, um, it, it is written of me in the volume of the books. Yea, I come to do thy will. It's been written of us from time past that we are going to, that we are going to fulfill, that we are going to deliver the creations of the world that are groaning in pain that are groaning, waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. It's been written of us. So the Holy Spirit building us up is not just for anything. Can we see it? Can we believe it? And, and are we prepared to run with it? Praise God. So right now, let's just begin to speak forth everything that we have seen. And if we have not seen, let's realign our eyes. Let's come into the vision that God has for us. Praise God. Let's begin to speak in tongues right now. Libade Shata Nakrido Zigada Baba Bade Santa Lada Brade Shata O Litala Bada 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 Kasokoto proclaim what you have seen whatever you have seen speak it forth Li de le Brade Bada Bako Shata and the Lada Baba Zikala Brade Kapos in the Lede de Shata Rada Baba Baba de Kasoto Koto no Brodo Kuzikada Bada Dada Dada Li de Kedada Brodo Shikede Bakana Thank you for making us light of the world, the light in the world. Nakada da 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 da
we go to do your will, O God. When you seek a man, when you seek a man, you will find so many, you will find so many members. We are not of men that draw back. Thank you for understanding of the assignment. Thank you for we are not without help. Le 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just saw right now. Mm. I just saw right now the picture of um, the Israelites uh, when they were surrounding the walls of Jericho. Mm. You know, after the seventh day, the instruction given to them was to raise a mighty shout. Mm. 
a mighty show how um, the Holy Spirit is connecting it to us right now. That after we've done five days, mm. we are, that we should raise a shout in our midst right mm. now. To raise a shout. And that shout is going to break down every 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 spirit of doubt cool. every spirit that that will not make all of us enter where god is where, where god is leading us to so right now uh, at the count of three we will raise a mighty shout please on 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 you know unmute your mic and let's raise them I think shut up every doubt, every spirit that seeks to hold us back into fulfilling what God has for us. Praise God. At the count of three. One, two, three. Thank you. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Lord, 
In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. For some of you, for some of you, this is the most stretch you've ever done in terms of prayer. <laughs> Yesterday and today, prayed every six hours. Six in the morning, six, 12 in the afternoon, six in the evening, and 12 midnight. Luke chapter 18, verse 1. Jesus spoke and he said, He spoke a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not faint. Men ought always to pray and not faint. I'm going to explain what you have done, what has gone on with you. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 18. 
Paul speaking to the Corinthian church, he said, I thank my God, I speak with tongues more than ye all. Do you see the reason why he had revelation in abundance? He, one man, telling the entire church, I speak in tongues more than all of you. That's why he's the one that has been bringing the revelation. Once you regularly have a structured prayer regimen, you will walk in revelation easily. That's when that spirit of wisdom and revelation we prayed for at night will be made manifest easily. I speak with tongues more than all of you. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Verse 26 says, How is it then, brethren, when ye come together, every one of you <coughs> had a psalm, had a doctrine, had a tongue, had a revelation, had an interpretation. Let all things be done unto edifying. That's why I always ask you, whenever we are done with Bible study or praying, is God showing anybody anything? Is scripture bring, contribute that which God has put in your heart to the edifying of the body. When you come together, every one of you, you have a psalm, you have a doctrine, a, a teaching, which is what uh, our dear brother Kai did, did in the midnight uh, session when he said to remember. Had a doctrine, had a tongue, had a revelation. God showed you something. Share. I told you, you are, I, well, we're running an open house here to build your confidence. Because when God sent you to a full nation, only Philip went to a country, he placed turned upside down, one man. So don't you think he lent boldness somewhere, even when the spirit came upon him? For some of you, after this time, you beat the spiritual authority in your home. You that you are last born. How will you command the respect of your elder ones when you tell them to sit down, let's pray? And then they say, okay, let's hear more you. Let's just see what you're going to do. And then you begin to release another dimension. They will, the next time you say, let's, there will be the one calling you. When next are we praying? <clears throat> Can you hear me clearly this morning? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So me is a training ground. If you do not avail yourself for training, you will not be trained. The Holy Ghost that brought you here, I've told you, I'm not sent to everybody. I'm not. The people that God brought to us, I know God has special plans for them, special assignments. I'm not raising members. I'm raising disciples. That's my assignment. That's why I'm intentional. That's why I'm dedicated. After the general teaching, I will still call you privately and teach you more. Why? That's discipleship. It's not because I don't have anything to do with my time. It's not because I'm less busy. No, I'm very busy. But the assignment must be done because destiny must find expression. So that when God is sending you out, you is not on the job. You start doing trial and error. Better try and fail in house here, where we all love you. We cover you and tell you this is not how to do it. This is the way to do it. The destiny of Israel rested upon David. If he had no experience to lean and gain strength from. You think he's in front of Goliath, wants to try things. That's what many of us do. We go into warfare. You have not tested. You have not no spiritual revelation. Nothing. You just want to go and test in public. And that's why many people fail. You just go. They mess you up. Sons of Skiva. No personal revelation with the Christ. And you want to go and bind the devil. They flog nonsense out of them. 
for their clothes. A man here in Nigeria many years ago said Daniel was in the lion's den and then me too. I'm going to go and prove that scripture. God did not say to go and prove scripture. When I sent you without pause or scribes, lack ye anything. What if it was the voice? I'm just kidding here. The voice of in this village that was disguising as the voice of the Holy Ghost. Say, go to the lions there and prove them. Let them know you're a great man of God. And he said, hmm, if I come there and come out, my ministry will blow. His ministry blew without him present. Am I communicating tonight, this morning? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, you are, sir. Yes. We are on assignment here. We are on assignment here. That's why people who are not ready to take this walk with God seriously, they naturally fall away because you can't fit in. Because when you come to me and say you need prayer, I will tell you, come for Bible study. I'm not looking for numbers. Come and grow. We had a brother who needed prayer. He called me. Uh, someone, one of our uh, my daughters here, you know, introduced me to the gentleman. He's been having attacks. He's not he's not able to sleep, you know. And he called and wanted prayer. There are many prayer contractors everywhere. People who pray for a living. Go and pay them. They'll pray for you. No problem. I'm not asking anybody for money. I'm not. So I'm interested in your well-being. My reward is with Christ. Mm -hmm. What can a man reward me with? What? That God has not given me already. I'm interested in your destiny finding expression. That is where I have joy. Even if you want to reward me with, you know, material things. It is when you get to some major dimensions where you can easily do things without shaking. That is the joy we are talking about. For some of you that are going to be multi-billionaires tomorrow, when you start buying me a plane, the news, the blog will carry it. Pastor has brainwashed members. <laughs> but they won't know the labor in the secret. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> They won't know the labor until Christ found in you. My assignment is to prepare you, shape you up, so that God can say, okay, I'm looking for somebody in this area. Okay, Sister Joy is there. All right. Okay, she's ready. Is she ready? Does she understand the assignment? Yes, she does. Okay, send her. That's the assignment. This is why I'm passionate. This is why I'm, I'm sure many people still are wondering, what kind of ministry is this one? Is there ulterior motive? Because I know men, nobody can love people like this. Mm -mm. There's always something at the end. I'm telling you what is at the end. Until Christ. Right, sir. So, so that you are a vessel available for him. The harvest is plenty, but laborers are few. There are too many members. We need disciples, laborers, people that will go and take a nation for Jesus. Philip was sent. The entire country turned upside down. One man. Imagine the spiritual depth. We have too many shallow believers. Too many shallow, shallow Shallow. So many shallow believers. And God will, you remember that scripture we read the other time? If you show yourself prudent to me, I'll show myself prudent to you. If you are, you, are, you are faithful, I'll show myself faithful. If you want to be foolish, I will show you what real foolishness is. So the way you present yourself to God is the way we will use you. Like I said, if you are in, uh, going through challenges, right, and there is a revelation of what you need to do, <laughs> God, this God, you will praise him, you will accept your praises. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Jesus met a man that has been crippled for 38 years at the pool of Bethesda, and he was still asking, what would you have me do? What do you want? Ah, sir, can you not see? Blind Bartimaeus, son of David, have mercy on me. We are bringing him, let him come. What do you want? Oh God, can't you see that I'm blind? Are you not supposed to impose on me and tell me that I'm going to see? God, ask and you shall receive. Don't ask, don't receive. Worship me. I just came to greet you. When we're children, when we go and visit elders, so that they give us money, we will now meet them and say, oh, can I help you? Say, I just came to greet you. Say, oh, thank you so much. God bless you. Greet your father for me. Greet your mother for me. <laughs> and then you'll be at the door scratching your head because you walked there and you the way you are going is far. You say, okay, I'm going, sir. <laughs> uh, junior, bye. Junior, say bye-bye. Uh, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to, you are looking for something. Ask and you shall receive. Is somebody picking something this morning? Yes, sir. So that you be all Usable. There are many vessels. Vessels unto honor. There are vessels unto dishonor. There are gold vessel, golden vessel, silver vessel, plastic vessel, wooden vessel, sandy vessel. There are vessels before him. This is why the same grace that is at work is spread across everybody because this is not in my ministry. This is not a personal, no. We are making ourselves available for him. Yay! The scripture I just started to share. Uh, I didn't care. When she said, when we're praying, the scripture came to her. Revelations 11, 15. Then the seventh angel sounded. And there, was, there were loud voices in heaven saying, the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and his Christ. And he shall reign forever. How? Something happened. Before this. Some of you, God will not send you to worldwide ministry. Your ministry is in your household. To bring them to the obedience of Christ. Because of what he wants to do with each and every one of them. But if you are not faithful in your stewardship, no, fear God, Lord. fear God. Fear him. When the Lord told me, one time we're praying with the family, and then I, I, I shared revelation, the Lord was showing me, because my father went through many temptations, many attempts to take his life. If you weigh amongst what other people have gone through, he's not supposed to be alive right now. From when we were young, Many attempts on his life. Many, many arm robbers who shot his colleague. Many attempts being arrested. All sorts. Attempts on his life. But he was faithful. And one day when prayer, the Lord said, it was because of the destiny that he carried. Because if there was no father in that picture, we will not be able to achieve that destiny. Am I communicating this morning? Yes, sir. So he defiled yes, death to ensure that VPP is standing today to deliver this lecture. If not, maybe I would have been somewhere on the beach. Yama, Onima, Ayre. But for his mercy, he said, no, this family must stay complete because they need to guide this ship these children are right. Today, I am thankful. Each and every one of my siblings are on fire for Christ. The one that led today is Benny, my younger sister, my direct younger sister. The one that leads prayer in Sumi is Amanda, the last born. Then lovely, my other sister. When she's ready to come back to her music ministry, then we'll see the grace that is upon her life. Everyone on fire. Why? God had a particular interest upon the family. Say, ah, I need to preserve. 
because the destiny that is on my life, if messed up, I would have messed up many things. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. He uh, was intentional. Yeah. Here, I'm not saying people that lost their fathers or anything, I'm not saying you are less important. I'm just saying that the structure that God needed for this destiny, because of the thing on top of my head, if there was no proper guidance, I would have been lost long ago. And my own kind of loss, the same way I'm pursuing and ensuring the kingdom, that's how I would have been pursuing to drop people away from the kingdom. The Lord told me immediately, I, I, immediately I give my life to Christ. He showed me. He said, because uh, many of you don't know this, I, 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 I do music. I used to. I don't, I don't know about it now, but I, I, I used to do music heavily as a secular musician, as a rapper. And God was telling me, I was the reason why you were not successful. Because if you were, you would have died young. That's what he told me. I was one holding your success. So sometimes, lack of breakthrough is not evil. Are we still together here? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The devil wanted your life to be terminated. But I... Apply the superior wisdom. And here we are. Ten years in the faith. And it looks like I just gave my life to Christ yesterday. I'm excited at what will come tomorrow. Passionately pursuing his presence. Not just pursuing his presence. Ensuring that the littlest one will become a mighty nation. That is true victory. <laughs> when they say, hey, let's look for the weakest link among them. And they say, hey, it's that one. <laughs> and they go there and they come back with swollen eyes and swollen lips. And they say, don't let them deceive you. All these people are mad. The harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. The ones who want to labor. We have the generation today, they give their lives to Christ today, tomorrow, God. Where are you? Where are the billions? Two days, no answer. I'm no longer a Christian. It's fraud. <laughs> laborers. Laborers is what he's looking for. Who will labor for the harvest? God does not owe any man. Hello? God does not what? Luke chapter 18. Let me show you something. Luke chapter 18. Luke 18. Uh, let me read from... Uh, Twenty what? Twenty-eight. Luke chapter eighteen, verse twenty-eight. I read. Then Peter said, "Lo, we have left all and followed you, Jesus." And his response. And he said unto them, "Verily I say unto you, there is no man that has left house or parents." or brethren, or wife, or children, for the kingdom of God's sake, who shall not receive manifold more in this present time and in the world to come, life everlasting. This is Jesus. <laughs> there is no man who has left all to follow you that ends up as a loser. No, it's not possible. It's not possible. See the story again in Mark chapter 10, verse 28. Peter began to say unto him, Jesus, you know, this uh, ministry worker 
um, you know, we've been faithful, been diligent. We have left everything. We have followed you. What is the benefit of this follow, follow that we are following your path? Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that has left house, brethren, sisters, father, mother, or wife, or children, or land, for my sake and for the gospel's sake. But he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time. Houses, brethren, sisters, mothers, children, and land with persecution and in the world to come. Eternal life. There will be persecution, but you will receive. You will receive houses. You receive brethren. You receive sisters. <coughs> Am I communicating, people? Yes, sir. So in the scheme of investment, this is a worthy investment, even though this is not our goal. But he's not an unfaithful employer. If you are growing with spiritual authority, I had a vision or a dream this morning before I woke up. I have so many dreams, but because I'm trying to wake up on time, I don't even want to pay attention to them. But one of them, in a place in my school when I was, uh, I think, in secondary school, yeah, that whenever it's dark, we're always afraid of that part. We are afraid of that place. Because I don't know what we just expect there. In the nighttime, if you are passing there, you must be more than two or three. Then you run past. Which is, I saw myself walking past that same place. I said, hey, let me test these things I'm teaching people. <laughs> and I stretched my hands. I said, the sword of the spirit in my hand. There were leaves. There were type of leaves there. And I started to cut the leaves. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. Am I communicating? Scatter the leaves. This is where people gather. Scatter it now. I'm sure tomorrow when they wake up, it's the blood of Jesus. What happened here? Hi, Bonfenia Sasukiti. Son de Ikipele Koskiti. So good to see So Koskiti. So Mara Kosi, Vene Kosi. Let me show you what has happened. Go to Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54. When you stretch your spirit man like this, let me, let me show you from scripture what exactly happened. So I read this other scripture in uh, 1 Corinthians 14, you know, verse 26, just so you know. So if God gives you a word, speak it boldly. When you come together, everyone had a sound. Everyone had a psalm, had a doctrine, had a tongue, had a revelation, had an interpretation. Let all things be done on 25. So by the time we are done with the little prayer point I'm going to share, if God gives you a word, share with your brethren and then put it on the WhatsApp group so that we can all benefit from it. Okay? Is Sister Ufedo here? No, no, Fedo, uh, Noma, Noma A. Yes, sir. How are you? Good morning. How did you mm -hmm. feel yesterday when the word that the Lord put in your heart, you thought it wasn't the correct word, but it may, you just said it after I pressed you to say, and somebody else, when you were speaking in tongues, got the same interpretation. How, what did that do for you? Honestly, I felt so good. I felt encouraged. I'm, <laughs> I'm more ginger than I speak to him. Come on now. I'm going to test it. I'm going to test it. This is how you grow. So me is a school of the spirit. I don't have to open a separate school of the spirit place. No, everyone here. As long as God brought you here, you're in the school of the spirit. Every one of you. Because when the queen of Sheba visited the temple of Solomon, she saw the servant and thought this was Solomon. She said, man, this guy at the gate, wow, richly dressed. He said, no, it's just security guard. Everybody is on fire here. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When the itinerary becomes busy, I don't have a special tool that I'm always sending. 
I just look down the list. Anybody, my I just do think, what think, what think, what think, what think, what think, what think, Florence, you are the one going to North Korea to go and bring a revival there. He says, sir, Kim Jong-un, say yes, that's where you are going. <laughs> say, let's go. We are ready. We'll take that place for Jesus. We'll bring the holy fire. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 54. So if the Lord is showing you Hallelujah. anything, I'll give you an opportunity to share. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 2. What has happened now is in verse 2, <coughs> and then what will happen is in verse 3. Enlarge the place of your tent. Let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitation. Spare not. Lengthen the cord and strengthen your state. That's what you have. Your, some of you, your spirit is awake like this, is white. When we are done, you will not be able to stop praying because you have stretched and your spirit is like, this is the, the real food that we should be eating. Some of you, when you try to go back to eating food, it will not make sense to you again. Because now we have, we have paid attention to the spirit and built our for many of us, it's only our physical that is very, very, very healthy and fat, but our spirit is lean. It's, it's, it's what they call poor in spirit. Not the humble poor in spirit in Matthew chapter 5. We are poor, like we are spiritually malnourished, so anything can hit you. Are we blessed? Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth thy curtains. Of the habitation, spare not, lengthen thy cord and strengthen your state. This is what has happened. You have enlarged the place of your capacity for what is about to come physical things, spiritual things. Why? Verse 3 For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and your seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Amen. That's what's going to happen. It's a natural law. For some of you, take this. I've shared a prayer point that will with us every quarter or every six months. If you are still young and need to grow fast, every quarter, separate yourself. You like our daughter, uh, or every three, three hours. You are a dangerous man in the spirit when you start to do this. Many of you only slept for less than four hours after our midnight session, and you are back here, and you think God will not reward you. He's, he's not, God is not unfaithful. One prayer, two prayer points, and we'll call it a morning. Psalms 90, verse 14. Psalms 90. May you not receive answers late in life. Amen. What is the essence of having a private jet when you are 96? Your heart is not designed to carry a level of turbulence. <laughs> they will bring your body back. There's a prayer. Satisfy us early with your mercy. That we may be re that we may rejoice and be glad in all our days. Satisfy us early, Lord. Early satisfaction. Daniel received answers on the first time he set his heart to pray. He had not started praying. He just decided, okay, we are going to start praying tomorrow. The answers were this part. It was God who looks at the intent of the heart, it's not the mouth. One of the things I needed to say, I thought I'll say that this evening, but in case I forget. One of the things to do now, Romans chapter 10, now that you have fasted, now that you have prayed, Romans chapter 10, verses 9 to 10, Romans 10, 9 to 10. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. 
So a spiritual principle is being taught here. For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So you believe with your heart and confess with your mouth. This is how you get the result. Now that you are done, doubt will start to attack your heart. If you can allow that doubt to plant a seed in your heart, forget it. All things are possible to them that believe. Out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth will speak. So from the words you speak, I can tell what is in your heart. Are you with me? Are we still together? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. With the heart, you believe what you have received, what God has said. What God has said, you believe with the heart. And with the mouth, you confess to align with that which you have said. Mark chapter 11, verse 22 and 23. And Jesus answering said unto them, have faith in God. Then he showed the principle. For verily I say, when he say verily, it means most assuredly I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt where in his heart. Where shall he not doubt? In his heart. But shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. He will have whatever he said. This principle, unfortunately, Jesus is the one teaching us this principle, but unfortunately, the unbelievers are practicing it. The new age people, they say believe, uh, projects whatever into the universe and all those nonsense. Is this principle they are applying and you see them have results? Those things, because the principle comes from God, they apply it and it works, but it is the children of God that have doubt. Yeah. Whoever, that's what he said. No, this one is not for believers. When you see whoever, that means whoever, a Muslim or a Hijbao, whatever people, they apply it, they receive it. Whoever shall say unto this mountain, whatsoever mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast in the sea and shall not die in his heart that is the place why with the heart man believes unto righteousness with the mouth confession you see that principle romans 10 10 and mark 11 20 the two are saying the same thing same same just they don't use different words shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatever he said. Whatever he said. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. You will receive your salvation when you have believed with your heart and confess with your mouth. You receive everything that God has released to you through this fast when you believe with your heart and confess with your mouth. Your mouth and your heart must be in alignment. Why? Because the Bible talks that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you ask in your mouth or think your heart. Did you get that? Did you get that? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whatever you ask or think. Hey, this is very important. If not, you just did hunger strike all through. If after going through this rigorous exercise, then the first sign, doubt, now sit on your heart. The seed that we are putting, this one grows faster. That's what Satan comes to do. Did God really say? Did God really what? Say, and say it's true. Did he really say? Is it my mind? How can your mind give you a word and somebody that is in 
thousands of miles away, confound the world. Does your heart have that same capacity to travel and go and tell the other person that? Ephesians 3.20, unto him that is able to do exceedingly, he will do much more abundantly, exceeding and abundant are two words that are not supposed to be following each other, but he put it together. Above all that we ask with your mouth or think, according to the power of what is in us. Lift your voice and pray. Satisfy us early with your mercy. That we may rejoice and be glad all of our days. Satisfy us early with your mercy. That we may rejoice and be glad Satisfy us early. Early satisfaction. Early satisfaction. Early satisfaction. Early satisfaction, my God. Early satisfaction. that is fire that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. For that which we need, O God, from the kingdom of this world, satisfy us, my God. Let there be smooth manifestations of the things that we have taught. The things that we are pressed into. Give la fina slime alle peria satua. Pikra stuvre nishke bele kapa. O jabila ya sufre ni aske chele kusia. Satisfaction. Satisfaction, Lord, we pray. With your mercy, my God. Satisfaction, Jesus. That's what we want. Early satisfaction. No delay, no delay, no delay. Oh God, no delay. No 
Lord delays, my God. Jesus told Peter, cast your net immediately. He caught the fish. Immediately, speedy manifestation. No more delay. Speedy manifestation. Lord, speedy manifestation. Jesus precious name we have prayed. I just feel the need to pray this prayer that the Lord will strengthen our faith. Because the first thing after this kind of fact, the devil will come. Your Jesus did several 40 days. The first person he saw was not an angel. Hello? Yes, sir. The first person he saw after the 40 days fast was not an angel. It was the devil to come and test if thou be. The same thing he did for Adam. He came. Has God said to come and put doubt? Are you sure this prayer is not only BPP and his family that are benefiting from it? <laughs> you self thinker, does any man really, 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 everybody has a selfish agenda? <laughs> Doubts to come just to come and thwart your effort. There's a popular saying, you cannot stop a bird from flying over your head, but you can prevent it from building a nest on top of your head. The thoughts will come, but what do you do with it? Do you start to ponder upon it? Then they start to bring more points. Am I communicating with somebody today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. The man came to Jesus. Jesus said, if you believe, all things are possible to them that believe. Say, uh, yes, I understand. But I believe, but help my unbelief. In case there is unbelief in me, because I need my child to receive this healing. Help my unbelief. That's what he said. Oh, Jesus. Help my unbelief. Help my unbelief. I believe, oh. Sir, I believe. And I did extensive teaching on that. Jesus does not have one hour with you. A thousand people were pushing at him. He fed 5,000. Do you think when they are hungry, they don't look for him again? 5,000. That guy. 
forget. That guy, if you are hungry around him, he will feed you. Say it's a lie. Say, ah, ask Michael. Michael, what happened the other day? He said, man, three days. He was teaching. We're enjoying it. But there was no, we're now hungry. And I said, hmm. And I saw one boy with uh, bread and fishes, two fishes, five loaves of bread. And then he just raised it up in our eyes and gave thanks. And he divided, he said, distribute. And the thing was multiplying. He said, you don't mean it. When next is he preaching? I'm going there. Let me go and test to see. So crowd was not a problem for him. They will always gather. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Who will come? Did he really say? If you are the son of God, jump. Come and bow. Shade, your assignment is to take the kingdom. Abi. Worship me, I'll give you. Easy way out. The devil is still doing the same tricks. He didn't change. The same tricks. The same way he attacked your grandfather that worked, he will apply it on your father. The same way he will still apply it on you. But we are men of superior intelligence. We are able to see far in the past and far into the future. We can see the tricks when it comes. Then we laugh, Satan, not today. I'm going to lift your voice and pray. Strengthen my faith. In Galatians 2.20, I believe, Paul, For I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. The life that I live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself. Man, the life that I live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So I'm no longer applying my faith. My faith can fail. We did when we talked on the series of faith, special faith the gift of faith, the fruit of faith, the spirit of faith, the combination of the three is called special faith. Lift your voice. Say, Father, grant me special faith going forward. Lift your voices and cry out to him for special faith. Special faith, special faith, Blanco Penisafa, Legarosia, special faith. Give me special faith. This faith of God, Masufrenia, Megedelegosia, Jaka Patoski Dibala, Nistarando Skitia. Give me special faith. Come on, lift your voices and pray this prayer. Our final prayer. Give me special faith, Lord. Maradi di 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 kasko prenti shkepele no. Lebrana. Resist the devil that he may flee. in the face of adversity, special faith, special faith. Remember what you have done. I may be able to. Amen. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Why don't you lift your voice and just say thank you to Jesus for his faithfulness? Thank you. 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 Thank you.
for the strength of the spirit, thank you. For the manifestation of your wonderful power, thank you. For the deliverance that has taken place, thank you. For the grace that has been made manifest, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for bringing us to a new level of new dimensions in the spirit. Even a consuming level. New dimensions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Because of time, I just want to take two people. If God showed you something, just share. Just two people. And then the rest of us will discuss on the group, on the WhatsApp group. Go ahead, please. Two people. Two people quickly. Quickly. I'm out of time. What did God show you when we're praying? Well, people are students that are almost in a level by now should not allow me to be calling you by myself again need two people at this one when i now call you and i'll be sharing what god showed to you now student at this one. <laughs> thank you holy ghost good morning sir good morning sir. No, I didn't get, and I didn't get anything to share. Mm, because of what I said. no trouble. What did God show you? What did God show you? Delphine, can you talk? Yes, I can, Pastor. Okay, how are you today? How are you? How has the prayer and fasting be for how has it been for you? Um well I think it just honestly confirms some things. Um more due to the um prophecy this morning. I was um hesitant to share because I, I wasn't really sure if it was for me, but throughout the prayers today, um it was confirmation that God was speaking. Mm -hmm. um just um overall like the new dimensions that we're entering in mm -hmm. um and you just spoke about peter and um catching fish which i said that we are um or i shouldn't say i say um god said that we're fisher of men mm -hmm. um i mean there was just so much confirmation and i just was hesitant to share because i was like uh i didn't i really did i couldn't discern whether if it was for the house or was just something that the Lord was um, speaking yeah. to me. Um, so, um, I mean, I'm definitely um, encouraged. I'm, I'm blessed. I'm a bit edified. Um, I mean, <laughs> to be honest, this ministry is just amazing. I mean, I, I can't just thank God enough for what he has done and how he's elevated every single one of us here. Um, and one of the things he says that, you know, um, like some of us are in ponds, but some of us are in seas, and, but we're going to be catching fishes in the ocean. And, you know, this is why their nets that we have are so heavy. Wow. Um, so we have to just embody this new dimension. Like, you know, it's not just somebody, even if you didn't, if you weren't here in the beginning of whenever Somi started, <laughs> you're entering to the second year altogether. No one's going to be left behind. Um, mm -hmm. And whatever dimension you were in before, it's no longer, it's an elevation. I mean, um, it was just, honestly, it's powerful. I just, I honestly, I, 
I've been trying to type this out and I'm just like, oh God, Jesus. Um, <laughs> okay. um, so that's, that's it. That's it. Thank you. That's so beautiful. Please type it out. Type everything and, and share on the platform so that we are able to extract the juice. I always use that word. I expected someone to ask me, what do you mean by extracting the juice? So I wait for when you need the answer. Then I'll think about it if I want to share. Extract the juice of every revelation given. Let me share something with you. Every revelation given is a door. Is a door. Then you have the opportunity to enter into it. Like for some of us here, a part of Sumi, but we have still not listened to an Akazu. It's a door that has been given, that has been opened to us, but you need to now walk into it to extract everything there. When we were growing up, we, we heard of people that they got robbed and they took everything in the home. Everything, the chairs, the furniture, <laughs> Everything, sometimes they will remove the light bulb just to tell you, we are cleaning you out. Some of these doors, you people, sometimes when I check in the spirit, it's still full. Why? People are not extracting. Imagine you go to the ocean and say you are thirsty and you go with a syringe and that's what you use to extract what will point your test. Mm. I said it, when you go and praise God, he will accept your praise. You will say, say, thank you, my daughter. God bless you. <laughs> but that's strange. God say, God bless you. Say, I bless you. Well, it depends on the container you go with. You use a syringe, just a syringe, to extract out of an ocean. For some of us, we come with a pipeline and connect it. If you are prudent, he will show himself prudent. If you are deceitful, he will show himself deceitful to you. However you come, that's however you will receive from me. One more thing, one more person, and then I'll, I'll, I'll close. So that will be best for 12 p.m. Um, Antonia. Antonia, Mrs. Kayade. Hi. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I was hoping you were not going to call me out. Uh, that every time, let me, wait, before you proceed, wait, let me share a secret. The moment you say, Lord, let him not call me, what I hear, you know, there's something called double, I can't remember what the word is, double negative. So, okay, yeah, your brain, when you tell your brain, let me not fall, let me not fail. You didn't just say, it cancels the not. <laughs> so, you say, Lord, let him not call me. And I hear God, son, call her. She's the perfect candidate. Uh -huh. People are starting to say, Lord, let it call me. I will still call you too. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, please. Uh, okay, is it just for today or for the whole um, program? All through, all through, all through today, yesterday. All through. Hmm. Um, okay, all through. It has been, I don't know, like I was telling my husband yesterday that he was like, we should not stop. Because I said, like, my prayer life has, like, has improved. Like, for the first time, mm -hmm. I, I'm always anticipating and not trying to, like, run away from the prayer. Mm -hmm. And... um. The devil has been trying to like push, push like you are trying to develop that faith mm. and all. But the devil is now trying to bring up different scenarios, bring up different things, like to manipulate you and all. And I realized that I've for these past five days, on a normal day, something comes up. I'm scared or just this fear or something but uh, there's this peace as in i don't know how to explain there's this peace that i feel and as we're praying i think yesterday um as you were teaching people on how to prophesy mm. i didn't want to raise i didn't raise my hand because i was with 
Joshua and he was as in disturbing and all. But the word, as I was speaking in tongues, the word I heard was be still. I wrote it down um, there as in be still and know that I am God. Because I've been fighting with a decision that I needed to make. And at a point, it felt like, okay, God had already directed me. But I didn't feel that peace. As in, but immediately I received the word be still. And I think Amanda also shared that uh, um, you're trying to do it on your own. Why not allow God to do it? So I just felt, okay, yes. Yeah, so this is the word like I really needed mm-hmm. to hear. So like it has, it has been amazing. It has been amazing, really. The, there are others that like I can't remember right now, but mm-hmm. I'm sure when I sit down, and I think I kind of had a dream, but I... Mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember what happened, but it was like, you know, when you're like a child, Mm -hmm. a child like crawling and then like a hand just comes and picks you up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had it last, as we were praying by 12 a.m., I dozed off and that was what I, as in, I had that brief dream and I just woke up immediately and continued praying. Wow, so good, so good. And uh, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know how. <laughs> like a lot, a lot of a lot, a lot of things. And we're praying yesterday afternoon, and I like I saw I saw that um, it was I don't know how to okay. You know, like how, like in in the mo- okay, there was one I told my husband. I'm sorry, it's getting too long. There was one I told my mm-hmm. husband. The first the first day um, we we're praying, I saw where um, I think we were praying against a strong man. Mm-hmm. I it, was that the first day or the second day? Anyways, I saw where um, the, as we were praying, it was like okay, it was like an occulty gathering mm-hmm. kind of. And then they were, it was like a meeting they had. And as we were praying, they were holding their necks and falling down. Thank you, Jesus. Um, as though they were being strangulated. Mm. Then a particular guy held like a calabash mm. in his, as in, like under his armpit and was trying to run away with it. It was kind of like clayish white in color. Mm. He was mm. trying to run away with it. And I was like chasing and was declaring words and then as we were praying he also held his neck and fell but yeah. the person in charge was like a woman yeah. Yeah. was like a like like a woman like she was dressed and adorned and she was like ah, if everybody's falling me i will not fall and she like continued her incantations and all and as yeah. the prayer was going on she also fell Hallelujah. And then I moved out of that. And yesterday, I think my husband was talking about being induced. And mm. I was sitting down as I was praying. I just felt like I was pregnant. And I started feeling like I was in labor. Mm. And after a few seconds, I felt like I had given birth, like something just fell off. And I, I don't know, it has been. Oh God has been wonderful glory to jesus wow thank you so much for sharing please i beg of you if you you were not here for the uh, strongman prayers i think that was day three please morning session afternoon session even everything is on youtube every all the teaching everything is there go and sit with it you know we are limited with time that's why you know i give a prayer point and after three four minutes i stop it that's not when you know how we grew up we stayed and then we uh when we pray we don't pray with time this uh, this generation of believers that are time conscious we stay and pray until something shifts the first time my eyes were open, many of you, your eyes are going to be open to see in the spirit, you know, after this prayer. The first time I tried, my eyes was open ever was um, 2011 or 2012, January, when we had that uh, uh, Occupy Nigeria. 
the, the strike that happened when church we prayed for six or seven hours. My goodness. I followed my pastor somewhere and then we're praying. Immediately I closed my eyes. I was seeing HD vision. Ah, I said, what is this one? I was scared. You know, I told my pastor, see what I'm saying. He said, why didn't you tell me when we're praying there? When I went home to doze off, I was hearing conversations. And that's when I heard a 48-year inheritance was available for the taking. <laughs> what? I was hearing angels clear. So stretching like this helps helps your spiritual perception because with those the flesh the worldly system is designed to dull your flesh to dull your spiritual senses so you know you eat a lot you watch tv you watch movies you listen to all kinds of music all those things are designed to dull your spiritual so when you fast what happens is the flesh is starved so the spirit is sharpened. My communicating. So please sit with these things. When you hear a prayer point, pause it, pray until something breaks, then you continue. That's how to extract the juice. I'll give you the answer. That's how to extract the juice from all these things that are available to us. There is a time for prayer. It says, seed time. Seeding has a time. Harvest. Is unlimited. The prayers that I prayed 10 years ago, some of it is what I'm still running on because I dealt with issues. If I have not dealt with my issues, I can't come and lead you to deal with yours. That would be my own people will just laugh at me. They'll say, This one, let, let us strike him one, let him go. <laughs> but I did it privately under the tree. My mom was sharing the testimony in one of, the, uh, one of our services said she would hear me then when I had no job in my wilderness experience. I would be at the back. Everyone has gone to work and living their life. I would be at the back under the tree. I had no plan for Sumi. I didn't know what Sumi was called. I just needed them, my destiny to find expression. Interceding, pressing into God, screaming like a mad person. I'm sure there will be neighbors this is, say, who is this man? All these fanatics, they have come again. I was clearing the pathway for us to do what we are doing today. And my mom, I didn't even know she was hearing. And she came to testify. She said, those days, she used to hear me labor. And she, she would pray, say, God, answer this boy. And then she said, now I see what was going on there. So some of you, the laboring that you are doing in the spirit today, it may not make sense to you. It may not make sense to the people around. But nations of the earth will be blessed because you pay the price. God will give you the calling. It is your responsibility to work it out. It's our decision now. If we say, let's pray now till 12, it's our decision for us to say, we'll stop now. There is no God that will force you. Say, no, do, no, no, no. So you must labor for your destiny to find expression. The harvest, ah, the harvest never ends. But there is a time for seeding. This is seed time. Praise God. Uh, thank you, Marco, for sharing this. Uh, while we're praying this morning, in a flash, I saw a bus stop and it was, I, I saw a bus stopped and in it was a baby. I believe this was for someone here seeking the fruit of the womb. Hallelujah. The baby has come. And there was another word. Uh, for most people, most people's breakthrough lies in the midnight teachings. The one Kyle they did. We should listen to it and would experience mental breakthrough. Mental breakthrough in paramount, is paramount to the physical breakthrough. This is what I saw. Thank you, uh, Dumebi, for sharing that. Uh, Kyle, they quickly, what would you tie to teaching uh, wow <laughs> uh, uh, I'll, I'll message sir okay I'll please message. I need to label the teaching so that when people go back I need to label uh, for everyone that has led uh, the uh, 12 p.m prayer Please uh, come back to me with a title of your 
uh, the sessions you led so that people are able to identify what the, the areas they need. Praise God. Uh, Tony, please go ahead and then we'll call it today. Oh, okay. Good morning, everyone. Um, I just wanted to say um, thank you so much for um, obeying and allowing all of this to happen. Um, one of the things that happened to me during this period is um, right. I've not even been able to pray by myself. Like after we pray, I'm unable to pray really. Like when I want to pray, God is just like relaxed. And so I just stayed there. And it's like when you when you when you've taken medicine or injection, you just stay for the for, for everything to work. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm not sleeping. I'm not I want to worship you, will take it out of my mouth. I want to pray, you will take it out of my mouth. I just stay there. And staying there, I see a lot of things. I can't even, sometimes, I think I've stayed for two minutes. I come out with like three hours. You know, it's it's incredible. Even after the 2 a.m., after the prayers today, we finished at 2 a.m. I was going to sleep. I couldn't sleep. God asked me to sit down till like past four. Six o'clock now, I went out with dozing on this call. I didn't doze. While you were talking, things were happening around me. I just stayed there. And so when you said, when you, when you check in the spirit, the doors are still um, 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 vacant or something like that, it, it's, it's a big burden because everyone, I, it, I'm sure this is not the first um, deliverance um, session that we've had. This is not the first time we will do things like this. And it's almost as though, is it that God does not hear? God hears. You know, God hears. He has released. And people are not entering the door. The door is opened. You are not entering. You know? And... I'm so happy that we're going to have the the the, the, the still session in the afternoon, the, the 12 noon, um, I think yes. it's today, right? Yes. Where we're going to have it. I, I, I'm pretty sure if everyone is on this call, please don't sleep. Just mm. come, come with the mind. Pastor Steve, I, there's a mystery in, in being still in the presence of God. I don't know if anyone has heard all those stories, all those mm. uh, uh, um, lectures. That when you stay there, everything that you need to receive what you've gotten in this period, you're going to act, you're going to, your body's going to take it in. Mm. You know, it, it, yeah, like, I'm just, <laughs> I'm even shaking as I'm talking. Like, we can't, we can't labor this much and then move on after today as if everything is normal. Then by Monday, we'll forget what we've done. Life will now go back to being normal. And what's funny is that the principality is holding down the angel with the word. And you, you're walking around as if life is normal. No, mm -hmm. you know, we have to take it. God has released it. And you know how God is, God is God. I, I mean, you would ask him tomorrow now or next week and you say, what are you asking? What I have given you already? Mm -hmm. I are like, where is it? I can't see it. Mm -hmm. Because he has released it. You know, so yesterday, even yesterday morning when I said in the group that we have an open heaven, and then God told me, go back there and explain what pressing means. Because people are saying, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It is not a thank you, Jesus moment. It is the I want to receive from what is happening right now moment. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm just begging everyone. We can't, it's like the spirit is even angry. I can't, I can't tell why I'm shaking. I'm, I'm shaking from within. I'm trying to control myself. You know, he has released. Can you please come and take? Mm -hmm. Like, come and take. Mm -hmm. Come and take. You can take. So really, you can tell that this is not about Sumi. He didn't, he, Pastor Steve didn't do this whole thing. For, he's not even raising these prayers for himself as much as we're the ones doing it for ourselves. He's just coming to teach us and tell us how to do these things, right? And the great thing about Sumi is that we're not raising prayer points for, for the sake. We're making you understand what you're, what you're praying so that you can fully receive it. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, like he always says, this is not the time to be a surface level Christian. You're going to be blown away because it's understanding and knowledge that you need in these times that we are in. And so we just have to receive what God has given. We have to. We have to stay there. Even a lot of us are very, even, I'm not speaking to anyone, myself inclusive, right? We're very, um, um, for lack of a better word, lazy. So we like these gatherings. We like it to pray. We like it to stay in the presence of God. But you know, the truth is that what God wants to do with you, the making of men happens with you and God alone. And so for all the things you have gathered here, you have to go back to your secret place to go and make sure that it settles in, it rests. 
I'm sorry. I just, I just, it was just a big burden to share this word. Let me just stop here. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yeah, thank you. It's called the burden of the spirit. You know, sometimes when I'm teaching, you just, I start to shout and start to, you think I'm angry. Then when I'm done, I start to ask, oh, so how are you doing? You're like, oh, I thought you were angry. It's the burden of the spirit. When the Lord is opening up a lot of things and we are not entering into it. And then the next day we are crying to him again and he's wondering, I don't understand it. You get what I'm saying? So that's what it is. So extract, extract, extract. And perfectly 12 p.m. today, we'll have a soaking session. Soaking session is the time to experience all these things that she has just explained. You are coming there. You are not coming to pray. You are coming with your pen. You are coming with your notebook and you will stay still before him and start to write. Many of you will write pages that you have not written before. You that strong, you will hear God clearly because in the stillness, the mysteries are being revealed. God will show you vision. Some of you will doze off when you are being still. Don't fight it. When you doze off, it takes you into a vision, shows you something quickly and then you come back. Do you understand what I'm talking about? So let's prepare for it. 12 p.m. I'm just going to set the playlist and everything, and then we're going to enter into these things. Uh, Eloho, please go ahead. So we'll call it today. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Okay. Um, I just wanted to confirm what she said because I think I saw two days ago. Um, when we were praying, there was this kind of opening. You know those movies where you want to move from this dimension to the other? Yeah, and on the bottom, bottom. Yeah. Then on the other side was the Garden of Eden. Amanda confirmed the Garden wow. yesterday. So I was able to enter into the Garden, but I was still on the other side. Mm. I was there and I was here and I was like, but I'm in two places. And yeah. what I heard was, your head is still outside. Yeah. But spirit was already swimming in the Garden of Eden. Like, and also when you said something about the bust, or I think it was like the stream that burst forth. Yes, yes, yes. Where water was flowing. Yes, the garden, the, the garden still came back. Mm. to my remembrance and i was still there but i was still here mm. so i think when what she, this burden she just shared gave me an understanding of how but that portal was just opened i was like so why is this place still open why didn't you close the door mm. you're like so many people are still coming in mm. like every one of you are coming in mm. so mm. god is actually really waiting for us to come in with yes everything yes indeed. some of us have our spirits have entered mm -hmm. but we have not carried our whole self in mm -hmm. god will help us even during this stillness on mm -hmm. how to navigate our way in, amen. in Jesus name. amen thank you so much for sharing that uh, it's, it's okay yeah Mary Jane. yes go ahead. I wanted to, this question I wanted to ask is based on you know um meetings and all of that. Mm. So um kind of mm. of rumors and you know I was telling God I was like this King James version that I have is really annoying that I really wanted to teach you. Mm. So I started to read it was in the middle of the night and I mean I would say one it's not up to you. Mm. I started hearing sensations like mm. was the weirdest thing ever. Mm. In me, it was not my people I slept for. I just said, no, 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 God, I'm not ready to for this watch. I mean, for you scare me. So I don't know. That's mm. the thing. Mm. Because, you know, I don't really have that ability. Sometimes I just, you know, see things. Mm. So, I mean, now I, I hear. Mm. And then also, um, Peace and all of that. Yeah. And the dreams. So, and then sometimes I begin to, you know, hear, like, clearly, mm. which I know I have, I have to have it. So, I want to ask, does this hear, like, good? But every time I don't feel like that, I don't 
I'm like, God, ah, I want to see you, but I don't want one that will scare me. I beg. Mm. Like when you said, um, you saw a Jamaican or something, and the thing was mm. so huge. I'm like, God, if I see so less of my, mm. you know, mm. I've seen all, all those kinds of things in the dream, and I wake up, you know, feeling weird. Mm. So I'm like, does the fear like paralyze you? Know, stop you? Yeah. Yeah, fear will limit you from receiving all of God. That's why I kind of touched on it yesterday. Perfect love casts out fear. God, the fear for God is not, um, uh, what's it called? The fear for God is not uh, scary fear, it's reverential fear. You fear Him in adoration, in love. You understand? But the doors open to you, the angels. Uh, you're hearing their conversation and then you shut it. Once you close it, for many people, it takes another cycle of six years, some people 10 years, some people two years for it to open again. One of my physical encounters of angels, I've not had that, I've, no, I've not had that physical encounter with angels happened in 2012. I'm still praying to God for that physical. Now I see them in the spirit. I discern them. I see them through word of knowledge. You get what I'm talking about? But they came physically to me. I almost entered into the ground. I saw them live. And when they came, I went, I went to hold my chair. I wanted to disappear. And the ground refused to open. And they said, Steve, they called my name. And the way they saw me feared. So I'm sure they thought he's not ready. And then they went. Till so today, now that I'm ready, they have not come because... This season is it may be another five years. I don't know. I'm hoping they come tomorrow. But I see them, I interact with them in the spirit now. But that physical presence, I haven't had it again. But if I well, if, I yes. No, you have to you have to shut that door quickly because the more you stay there, the more you keep going in that cycle. The next time you come, one, God is love. So he is coming to teach you to upgrade you. When you start to hear and start to see, your life is upgraded. You understand? If you are seeing your angel clearly, if someone evil is before you, all you have to do is look at him. He will shake his head and say, no, this one is evil. Your life becomes a mystery. But if you are still staying in this fear, God is a patient God. He does not live in time. So he doesn't really know how long you've been there. It's you that will continue being in that cycle. So you have to get that fear off and say, Lord, I come by faith. Yes, when the angel appears, they'll tell you, fear not. And then the angel touched Daniel and strength entered into him. But the mystery of Daniel, we're still using it till today. But if you're still staying in the, oh, I want a safe Lord, I want to know you, but I want to know the safe side of you. You will still remain on the shallow uh, measure, okay? So that's your own assignment. Work on that fear and get it over with. Um, Antonia, you have something to say? Um, yes, sir. I just remembered something as we were um, talking about the garden. I, I entered into the garden as well, but um, he, held, he held my hand and I was like a little child like five year or six years old child kind of mm -hmm. so he held my hand and then we're walking down the path mm -hmm. with the beautiful flowers and you know i just stretched my hand and was touching you know how children play and all so mm -hmm. um, we walked down and he started showing me lands and animals and just showing different things mm -hmm. and he was like everything here Mm -hmm. belongs to you Hallelujah. but you do not know it mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. you have to do is possess stretch and possess it mm -hmm. my goodness yes yeah, so i just i just remembered and thank you thought thank to you. share because i know it's not just for me it's mm -hmm. for everyone mm -hmm. thank you so that confirms what um a lot of shared. So you see what I'm talking about sharing. So when you share, if you think, oh, maybe it's just my mind, and then someone confirms and sees the same thing you've seen, that is what helps strengthen your faith, that you are not just seeing what you feel like seeing. You get what I'm saying? 
So thank you so much for sharing that. Um, so for those who still need, you know, after we are done today, uh, who still need to continue to pray, you still need the community. Uh, I've just been informed that the room, well, the room is always open for prayer, but um, there's still two more days from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m., 12 midnight to 6 a.m. prayer on Zoom. It's, go it's still going to be open. So if you are, if you feel the connect, many of you, God is still going to tell you, continue for 21 days, continue for 60 days, continue for one year. That's depend on your dealing. So be still to follow what God is saying to you. But the Zoom room will be open uh, from 12 midnight even tonight, when we are done here, 12 midnight will be open to 6 a.m. and also on Sunday. Praise God, so that uh, you can join uh, your brethren to be there and just stretch and do what God has. Thank you. Time has been fast spent. Um, God bless each and every one of you. And I pray that if you, if you take advantage of what it is we have done, your life will not be the same. That is not a cliche. That is truth and that's reality. So I trust God. You have questions, send me a message. If you're on the WhatsApp group, just uh, share your thoughts and uh, share what God is saying to you. All these things that you guys have shared here, please put it on the group so that other, 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 uh, other brethren can also be blessed by it. And then see you by 12 p.m. Uh, soaking session. Come with your pen and your notebook. Don't be distracted. Stay with God and then watch God tell you things, show you visions. He will take some of you back to the stream. He will take you back to Eden, show you things, show you the secrets of your life, show you what you need to do. It's available when you stay still in his presence. Thank you all and have a wonderful uh, day. See you in another four hours. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you.